Let's head on out. Back to the reading room, right? Oh shit, should I have left them on? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, good. All four boilers need to be working to open the casing. Are you sure you didn't remove a cube from one of the boilers? What? No! Why would I do that, Neloth? What? <laughs> Why would I have done that? I did not. Because who would need them anywhere else? Who would need them? Why would? What use would they have beyond here? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>when we had last left the last dragonborn they were seeking out a trail they were hot on the heels of mirak and his weird nasty shit yes they needed to find answers about his unknowable power and the mystery around the ever present black books their investigation took them to the southeastern corner of Solsheim, where they encountered Neloth at the Telvani town of Telmithrin. It was a mushroom village town filled with shroomages all over, all around. It was, it was a town. It was a village. They, it was cool. <laughs> but it was there that Neloth, the Telvani wizard, said that they needed to investigate... Indeed, another black book that he had somehow tracked down, utilizing one that he already had in his possession. Well, that black book was located at none other than some sort of recently unearthed aquatic, sub-aquatic Dwemer ruin nearby. It had become unearthed or un unawkward. <laughs> what do you even... It had... It had unsubmerged what what do you say when when something comes out of the water it had it had revealed itself from its watery grave the ruins of nachandark nachandark and it was in there that they would face all manner of terror <laughs> Would they, though? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> this is The Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. <laughs> We're here with Gordon and Freya just as well. Let's head over here. Hey, Naloth, do you have anything else to say before we you go in here? You should be able to unseal this door with the control cube I gave you. Right. Did we, should we look inside of the water here fully? I don't think we did. That said, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to... Yeah, we're going to... Solve this problem. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> right, though that said, there may be something that's only accessible when the water level is up high. Right? I don't know. Alright, well... F it. Let's head on in deeper. Hopefully we'll find some sort of resting place. We'll see. All right. Oh. Toss that inside of there. Good. Okay. The Chardak. All right. Very good. Got a whole bunch of weird Dwemer junk. Money as well. Stand poison. Healing potion. Gears and metal. All manner of junk. Should I take the large plate metal? Maybe. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. Hey, look! I hope the rest of the cubes are this easy to find. Although knowing the Dwemer, I'd rather doubt it. Mm. It would be madness to go through there. Oh, really, Freya? You think so? What if... <laughs> what if I tell you to do it, Freya? <laughs> what if I tell you to do it? <laughs> would you do it, Freya? Wow, she really won't. Come on, Freya. <laughs> Come on. You don't really, you really don't? She, she doesn't want to move. <laughs> she doesn't like it. <laughs> Come on, did I fuck it up? Wow, she really won't. Fuck me. Okay, Freya, fine. Fuck. Jeez, I wasn't trying to play any kind of weird joke on you. 
Fuck me, fine. All right, I'll take the fucking cube. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Oh, jeez, Neloth, what the hell? All right, all right, yeah, these things don't have souls on, right? But we'll get some gems from it nonetheless. Victorious again. Flick that on. What have we got? Some oil and a cog. How about here? Bent scrap? I think that's good. It's been a while since we did this. Hey, how about how about up here? What's this go to? Oh, you need to like lower it or whatever, I see. This is the loop around town all around. Okay, let's head on down here. Hey, Nellos. These must be the great workshops of Nachardak. Impressive, even in ruins. In the city's days of glory, it was reputed to be able to assemble a complete automaton in a single day. Much of the Dwemer's army at the Battle of Red Mountain must have come from here. Wow, really? He's rather impressive. Cool. Okay. It looks like we'll need to lower the water level to make any more progress. All right, here we go. Let's plug them in. Oh, plug and play. Now we can see if we can find a way to get to that next cube. Very well. Are these dudes going to activate or what? Like if I smack one? No, okay. I am a little worried about the ones that are uh, inside of their, like, I don't know, power armor station. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Freya. Jeez. Did you just jump down there? Okay. Anything over here? Oh. My salmon or whatever unbound itself again. Weird. I wonder why that keeps happening. Anything fun around here? Nelos, where have you... Where have you gone? Oh, this one's totally coming to life. Look at this one. Ooh. Yep. Someone there. there we go. Cool. Victorious again. Nope. I thought Gordon was another like little little spider lord. Okay. There we go. We'll take this. Do we need dynamo cores? Don't we need them for this expansion? Or is it I don't fucking know. I'll take it. I'm just gonna take all that. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, look, something up there. Something important. Alright, we need another cube. Or two. Huh. Guess we'll take these. Why not, right? Good. Oh, you're following I me think again? We should focus on how to get up to the door on the north side of the workshop. Why do we need these cubes? I thought I made myself clear. I just wanted to hear them out. Time. The boilers in the Great Hall provide steam to the reading room upstairs, which we need in order to open the book's protective case. We need a total of five cubes, one to operate the pump in the Great Hall, the other four to activate the boilers. Hmm. Okay. What can you tell me about Morrowind? When the city of Vivek was destroyed, it took decades for us to rebuild. We are still but a shadow of our glorious past, but someday we will rise again. Okay. Is this the same stuff that we heard way back at, like, the beginning of the expansion? The ignorant think it is only a place of ash and lava. It has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills, too. Very true. What can you tell me about Morrowind? We were too young to remember the Nerevari. He defeated Dagoth Ur and saved us all from the blight. Right. One more. Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, ash and debris from an eruption land on our shores. Anything else? There is the big island I'm of pretty sure we... and the coastal mainland. House Telvani has its properties on Vardenfell. I've never been to the mainland myself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all the things we heard before, right? It is right? the only place where silt striders can be found. 
Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. Okay, great. We still have cubes to find. Hey, if you transplanted a few here, where'd they go? I've only seen one. And it sounds like you weren't involved in that one? Or maybe he is. Right? I forgot what that dude said. That, like, Neloth was... That he was the care caretaker for it, for Neloth. I don't know. Okay. Anything here? No. Gosh, I really now cannot unsee the power armor stations. <laughs> I can't unsee it now that I brought it up. All right, let's go on through this. See what we got. Oh. Well, what can you do? All right, over here. Well, geez. I guess I need to get them out of these then? Pull them back out? Won't that just make the water level go up again? Do I need to like quickly jump down there and do it? Shit, maybe. No. Okay, too clever for that. Oh, I think I only need to sock it in one. Okay. Sure. And that should bring it down low enough. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, shit. Jeez, they come out every time? Man, there are a bunch. Okay. Harry Knuckles. Okay, cool. Now let's say some more cool, weird shit. I'm loving it. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Okay. Let's see. Let's take all this. Dwarven bolts. I guess we may as well take a few. We can always drop them if we want. Okay. Good. Do I need to pop it in here? Oh my gosh! So what does this one do? Does that raise and lower the little bridge? Oh, I see. Okay. So these ones with the arrows do not need a constant... ...cube inserted within them, right? But these ones with, like, the big blue pillars do. Okay. I'm remembering. Boom! And then this should do... Eh? Good. Jesus. Frey, are you... What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, everybody is not having a good time. Okay. Let's head on inside. What have we got? Probably more robots. No? <gasps> Okay, sure. I guess we'll take a few of these. Okay. In here. Take some of that. I don't know, do I want to take all of it? Maybe we should probably leave some of it. Unfortunately, each cube we retrieve shuts down the chorus. All make or protect me! We'll have to be calm. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Good. Fortunately, let's see. Nope, nothing there. Fuck. Yeah, fortunately, we've got our own little brand spanking new water breathing necklace, right? So we should be fine. You all got yours, right? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> You know, I would, I would expect a master Telvani Magister to have some sort of prepared enchantment, uh, array of enchanted equipment. Let's see, get inside this, or maybe not. There we go. Okay, good. Lovely. All right, and if we raise the water level enough, we should be able to, act to uh, access the other section, right? With all the trash. Okay, over here. Or is it already raised up? Let's see where this no, leads. Yet. 
All right. Hang on, Nelith. I gotta go fix it. Hold up. There we go. Got three. Look at this cool water temple shit, huh? With the water level this oh. high, we can swim across the collapsed part of the passage and reach the other side. All right. Over here. Flip this on. What else do we have in here? Let's do a quick save because I don't know what the hell that thing is. Who's there? Oh right, there's new, new little dudes, huh? Oh shit! Ballista master. Okay. Jeez. All right, Freya. Holy shit, you're just running in here. Okay. Let's do it. Look at this. I like them. They're even more crab-like in nature. Okay. Good. Ooh! Whoa, we got a special animation for them? Holy shit, I did not know that. Okay. Woo! What fun. Okay. This one? Anything good? Greater Soul Gem? How about this thing? What does this do? Ah, that's our loop around town. I see. Well, we may as well pop it right here and right now. They only ever have two settings, right? Although this thing has four directions it could face. Or at least these only have two settings. Okay. Neat. I know a lot of people dislike the Dwemer ruins and stuff. And honestly, when I learned that, it was such a shock to me. <laughs> They're one of my favorite dungeons to go through. I don't know. I love them. I fucking knew it. All right. Good. Oh, 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 right into its crotch? Is that the weak spot? Is that where the, is that where the soldier, the family jewels, of course. <laughs> of course, I should have known. Why wouldn't they be there? <laughs> All right, great. Assuming the soul gem is even like the most critical point. All right, let's take all this, top ourselves off a bit, and I guess we'll rip this thing up. Meloth, are, are you ready to go, Freya? There we go. Oh look, oh shit, Dwarven Greatsword of Devouring. Very good. Yeah, By my count, we've it. found a total of four cubes, assuming you haven't dropped any anywhere. So we only need one more of these cubes. That's correct. I'm glad to see someone else has been paying attention. Fuck me. <laughs> okay. All right. I know you're a fucking, like, Telvanni Magister, but come on. I can count to fucking four or five. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> come on, man. Take it easy. Let's see. It's, it's not that impressive. Should I throw this thing in here? Well, this dude. This lowers the water level or something? All right, it turns on the fire. You know, just in case you want to roast people while the, uh, <laughs> while the water's up, I guess. Is there anything else that's now accessible thanks to the ultra-high water? I don't know. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. Like, is there anything on top of these, like, fun-looking... Chandeliers? No. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Did we ever get to this treasure? <laughs> I, th I think we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's right around the corner in there. Okay. Huh. See, I almost feel like there should be a little secret for coming back into this room once the water level is all the way up, you know? All right. Cool, cool. Come on over this way. I think we're going the correct way. Shit, am I? Or am I looping back around town? <laughs> Shit, I'm looping around. Eh, it's fine. We'll at least take this ramp. Very good. Okay. And then right out this door. Great. 
Wonderful. So now we got all of them, right? Or <laughs> no, we don't. We still need at least one more. Damn it. Okay, Neloth. You know, I do need. I do need the assistance. <laughs> it's got to be said. I do need the help. <laughs> okay. There we go. So now we can go down further and still have at least a cube. Very good. Who's oh, shit. Let's run him through. Good. Oh, sorry, Gordon. It's the armor. Jesus Christ. So is there any reason why we would want to look around while the water level is one up higher? Hmm. Like, for example, over at this thing. Right? What if I wanted to look at that? Hold up. Let's take one. Is there anything I can or cannot reach? See, if I raise it, I should be able to get over there, right? Or maybe it'll be just shy of... Uh, yeah, okay. Well, if I take out the other one, I can swim over there. Like, is there a little button or something over there that I can interact with? Hmm. I don't know. Let's try it. Fuck it. No, no such thing. See, I feel as if all this water level changing shit, I feel like it's ripe for having some cool secrets. But you know, at the same time I'm feeling like we're not getting any fucking secrets at all. <laughs> Look, all the fucking dudes are awakening. <laughs> wonder if they'll drown. Okay. Good. Or do... I, do any NPCs require air? Or is it purely a system only for players? Look at them. Yeah, they're like so heavy they're stuck to the... To the floor there. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Let's see, how about anything on this side? We may as well give it a quick look. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really feeling like there's... There's no fun secret here. Right? Huh. Alright, sure. Maybe something on top of these? Nah. Alright, let's go replace the cubes. <laughs> Very good. Alright. Do you think we'll get anything by using this? It looks like it's pointed right at that pipe. Hmm. Maybe that's what we're meant to do, is blow them up? Maybe not right now, but later. All right, let's head down. There we go. Oh, jeez, I'm going into the floor. Okay. Good. Smack you. Woo! Okay. Good. Anything here? Lesser soul gem, I'll take it. Let's flick on the lights. Anything on the other side here, or does that lead to an even lower level? And then there's something over there, okay. Which one should we investigate first? I guess that one is the authored path. So let's go over here. Very good. Okay. Anything else? Sounds like some little dudes coming out. Alright. Oh yeah, look. There's fun stuff over here. Great. Okay. Get some more bolts. Why not? Save them for the, the distant future. Okay. Try and get into this. And what have you got for me? Scroll of Guardian Circle. Eh. I guess we'll take them. Okay, so now what the hell does this thing do? 
lowers it even more. Jeez, maybe we shouldn't... Yeah, we should not do this yet. Hang on, can I take it while it's in motion? Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> just imagine we, we keep doing that back and forth, we just break the entire place. <laughs> now Loth gets pissed. Okay. Let's see, we'll go back over. Good. There we are. Lovely. Huh? The aqueduct. Cool. Alright. What have we got in here? Some, like, braziers. Amazingly enough. The last enough. cube is somewhere in here. I hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. Right, yeah, you have to imagine Usually it's nasty. Usually around in the muck to us youngsters. How old is Freya meant to be? I'd guess I guess she's just joking. Be the pump activator up there. Right, because he's, he's like 200 how plus. how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. Okay. Because, you know, if I had to guess, I would, I would like, say Freya is like middle-aged, right? All right, anything else around here? No. We do have all these up, up top. I mean, I guess, couldn't we just like scream our way to the other side just as well, if we wanted to? Instead of futzing around with these. Oh, look. Goes even higher up. Okay. Dwarven Warhammer. A little fun treasure. What have you got for me? Five gold. Whew. Okay. And what do we think these do? Huh? Oh. Oh, no. Okay. So what does this one do? Well, that's progress of a sort, but we'll need all three down at once. Okay. I think you did it. I think so too. That's it. Don't touch anything else. Quickly now. <laughs> Check this out, Freya. I'm gonna leave him over there. Oh, it doesn't work? <laughs> well, I was gonna try and strand him in it. <laughs> All right, fine. Wait, now what will happen? How do I get over now? If I fucked it up? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Flip him! Yes! Yes! Nellis, what do you think about that? What's he doing, Freya? Do you see him over there? <gasps> Look at that old asshole. What's he doing? Oh, he went into the fucking water. What an idiot. <laughs> fucking Telvani. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Did you like that, Nalath? Was that cool? Was that fun? Freya, I think he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's try and get him when he's right on the, the very end. Oh! Where did he even go? <laughs> Where is he at? <laughs> Okay. Hey, Naloth, where'd you go? Oh shit, where did he go? Oh. Who's that? The oh shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, they show up when I when I get here. Okay. There we go. Good. Let's see what you've got. Take that oil. Gordon is vibrating with enthusiasm and excitement. I guess we'll take all this. All right, for real, we need to stop taking the uh, <laughs> the Dwemer metal. <laughs> okay. Let's see up here. Got some nice, lovely, comfortable rock oh. benches. Ah. 
Good. I will not you know what? I would love it if in Elder Scrolls 6, for some of these Dwemer Automata, assuming that wherever Elder Scrolls 6 is set does have, you know, Dwemer shit. Oh god, is the game about to crash? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> for some reason, I wasn't having any input here. But it would be so cool if they use some of the Fallout 4 tech. Right? Do you know what I'm talking about? How with synths and stuff, you could, like, pull off and, like, blast off parts of their body. Right? It would be so cool if, if you had, like, I don't know. Maybe not a sword wouldn't do it, but maybe like a two-handed sword might be able to, or like a blunt weapon. You could knock off parts of their body and they would behave differently. I'd fucking love that. Okay. Over here. Anything else? Eh. Alright. Very good. Anything good over there? Jeez, it sounds like uh, there's some electro... Best. Blasts. I'm getting tired of waiting around in this muck. Well, it's probably his summoned dude. Okay. Whoa. Let's just check over here real quick behind the waterfall. Oh, beautiful. Love it. All right. Oh, shit. Okay. We got it. We got it. Awesome. Okay. Cool. I want to know how many times in this playthrough I've I've tried to flip bridges on NPCs. <laughs> I feel like it's it's happened a decent amount, probably like five times or something. Okay, Over here, I love it every time, honestly. <laughs> All right, anything else new to say? We need to find enough control cubes to keep the pumps running and to turn on all four boilers. Okay. Oh. Sorry there, Neloth. Anything else over this way? Eh. Okay. And then I guess we'll just pop our little... I have an idea. You've been here? Oh! Jeez, you almost got crushed! We will not have to listen to his complaint. <laughs> okay. Jeez. All right, I don't know. Still can't go through this. All right, fine. Let's go down into the unsubmerged area. Deaquified zone. Huh. Oh, jeez, Freya. Good God. <laughs> it sounds so painful when she says it. Do you think this moves again? <laughs> no? I'm trying to, like, hold E on him. Nah. No dice. Look, we got a little treasure here, though. Beautiful. Alright. We'll leave the rest. Getting a little close to encumbrance. Okay. Head on down this way. Good. Neat! Ooh. Oh, I hear the spinning dervishes. Okay. Ah, yeah. The shit in the slapping smackers. Just as well. Okay. Oh, dear. Look at that. Did it without any shouts. Oh, fuck for it. Jesus. <laughs> I don't even like looking at it. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Ah, an amulet of Stendar. And a lockpicking level. Okay, hopefully this turns it off. Great. Alright, what have we got here? Soul gems and a little fun dagger. Okay. Good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at his eyes! It's like someone put googly eyes on him. I guess these are gonna shoot like fire or something. <laughs> Hang on, if I if I put the the daggers on here, right? Is he gonna get like laser vision or some shit? Oh, it's arrows. Oh, that's no fun. 
That's no fun at all. Okay. There we are. Oh shit, what did that fucking do? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Sure. Man, y'all designed this place to just get so fucked up and nasty. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> let's consider this. How much of this, like, if the pumps operate this way, was this also to control water levels normally? Then I'll take this cube and we can be on our way. Like, I know there's a whole bunch of pipes, like, fucked up and everywhere. Watch out. Oh shit. rising even higher with both pumps shut down. Oh. Okay. That was easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work. Oh, with the cube I retrieved from the pumping pedestal, we should now have five cubes. Exactly what we need. Now we can finally see about getting those boilers started. Okay. I mean, I guess I could kind of get around here, you know? Well, can I? Oh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Oh, shit, look at that. But, yeah, I wonder. Because at the same time, there's also loads of waterfalls and everything everywhere. I don't know. Like, one of two things. Either these controlled water levels in the entire area beforehand, right? Because this was a submersible city, right? So either they control water levels when this was a fully fleshed out and occupied town where people lived and worked and shit or they had all the submersion submersion controls just scattered all over the place I don't know neither really makes sense because for the the latter you, if you want to submerse or unsubmerge the entire hey there we go unsubmerge uh, the entire city you have to run all over the place and do fucking puzzles and not get hit by booby traps and shit. And if the opposite is the case, then if you're doing this on the day-to-day, -day, you're just covering the entire place in, like, shit, right? S surely there's, like, sewage water in all of this just as well. Because <laughs> notice, notice as well, no little vats of, of whatever to contain the Dwemer's, like, refuse, right? They're just shitting into the, into the water here. They're just having a go at it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I thought it was gonna blast me. Okay. Good. Oh, shit. There we are. Good stuff. Okay. Anything else around here? Let's flick this on. Dwarven Bow of Flames. Eh, not really interested. Ooh. Kagruma's Resonance Gem. Oh. Alright. Almost looked like a, a weird spark plug laying down. Okay. What does this do? Anything in here? Got a little, few goodies. I'll take them. Some more metal. Can't take it. Too encumbered. Alright, that was a fun little bonus area, huh? How do we get over to that one, though, I wonder? Okay. Jump oh, over this. Like, is this ever gonna open up? Hmm. Weird. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Nah. Maybe there's something over here that we can use? Nah, I don't think so. Alright. Anything else I may have missed? Just do a quick once-over. Look, you can see the void of unreality somewhere up in there. Yeah, there you go. Little cracks. Okay. Anything else over here? No. Nah. Okay. Ultimately, those little things, not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Just fun to, to check them out whenever you do see them. Okay. Because if I believe, as far as I know, they're they're used to, you know, save on resources and like polygons in a certain area, right? Because you know you don't want to render the entire other side of this wall, 
Otherwise, your game is gonna be, like, fucked. <laughs> Here, I picked up this cube for you. Oh, thank you, Neloth. <laughs> thank you so much. Let's see. What the hell do I need to do now? Go back to the centerpiece, I think. Over here. Yeah, we've got these, huh? Boiler control pedestal. Huh. I don't think this controls the water level, though. Right? Yeah. We just have to have all these on, I believe. All four of them running. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Did we look over here? Yeah, we did. Alright. Huh? It should now be as simple as using the cubes to turn on the four boilers. Yeah, we'll just take one. Lovely. How high up does it get now? Oh yeah, this will probably lower the bridge then. Right. Do we ever clear out the entire dungeon of water? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, weird. That's a good question. Do we ever do that? Or is like stuff on the bottom floor where all the good fun adventure is? Right. Hang on, let's do a quick save. I forget, was there another one of these little units over this way? Like in a corner or something? Yeah. Okay. Pop that down there. So what's all the way at the bottom then? We definitely have enough for the boilers, but... What if I want to see some shit? Like this. Ooh, what could this be? Huh? Not even locked. Dwarven gauntlets, some money, spell scroll. Eh. Okay. Sure. Oh, are we on the? Oh, this is the the bottom floor. Oh, I thought it was way deeper and cavernous. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here. Ah, look at this. Some malachite. Very good. Guess we'll give this a quick pick. There we are. We're gonna need to drop some of this drummer shit. Okay, let's see, sort by weight. I'm gonna keep these dynamo cores, huh? Well, should I? Should I? I'm gonna drop them. I'm, I still don't... <laughs> I never remember what they're used for. I know they're they're used in some of the like Atronach Forge stuff. We'll leave them there. If we need them, well, we know it's where it's at. We know it's up in and around that area. Jeez, Gordon, you okay? Never heard you make a noise before. Or at least not like that. Okay. Anything else good around here? Hmm. More malachite. How did this shit get here? Like, I'd understand if it were... If it were just normal rocks, like rubble from the shit caving in or whatever, but... How did malachite ore form here? How was malachite ore even formed? Is it like through some magical means? Maybe? Alright. Because, you know, it is like the... Ore of choice for... Orcish smithing, right? So maybe that bears some sort of magicalness to it. I don't know. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Oh, shit. There we go. Easy does it. Take the picks. We'll leave the elven axe of blaze. Anything else around here? Some more fucked up stuff. Malachite. I'll take it. Thank you, ancient Dwemer of yore. The only th good things you've done for us. Giving me ore and weird ancient artifacts. And honestly, disappearing. That was probably the best gift you could have given us all. <laughs> okay. 
Anything else around here? Nah, good. Alright. Dwemer. Fucking terrible people. <laughs> Terror. Just absolutely pieces of shit. Okay. Let's get on up and out of here. Right? See, it's a good thing we came down this way, right? And had a look around. It paid off. Found some cool shit. A little bit of malachite. Alright, could have done with some void salts, but hey, what can you do? Alright, we'll suck this thing up. Good. Hey, what happens if we leave this one here? What happens if we do that? Huh. Because we could submerge this one, couldn't we? Hang on, let's do a quick save. I'm really curious, what happens if we submerge one? Or is it still interactable and we just have to swim underwater? Okay. Because if we rip both of these out, won't the water level be high enough to submerge that over there? Huh. What in the world do you think will happen? Maybe we'll just be able to interact with it while it's underwater. Right? Maybe that's it. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Okay. Weird, because now we're meant to use the boiler. Here, let's go have a look at it. I'm curious. Can we... Can we actually take it? Yeah, we can. Huh. Okay. But I don't think you can you can place it on there while it's submerged, can you? No, yeah, maybe you can. Maybe you totally can. Okay. Well, let's socket all these. There we are. That seems to have done it. Good. It took longer than I'd hoped, but at least it's finally done. Hey, I just wanted to have a look around, you know. Alright. Let's mess with this dude. Olmec, protect me! I think I took the brunt of that one. Oh, right in the jewels. Oh shit! But you left me with no choice. Okay, what have you got? Amethyst, Daedric arrow. We'll take the oil. Here we go. upstairs and see if the reading room has steam. So, should be a simple matter to release the book. Okay, you don't want to see what's behind this? Look, I think there's some cool treasure back here. This doesn't interest you? I guess you're, like, probably rich as shit. Alright. What have we got? 50 gold? Ooh. You found 50 gold. <laughs> well, thank you. Alright. Well, it wasn't really that impressive. <laughs> now, Loth, you didn't miss much. Okay. Oh, this was an elevator. Oh. Cool. Man, they really had high security here, huh? If this was the main way down into the, the like, main center chamber, you would run right into this dude who was, you know, kind of facing the wrong direction, but... <laughs> yeah. Wow. Should we take all these? Fuck yes, we should. What if I need them for something else, you know? What if there's another place on the island that uses them for something? Okay. Yoink. Oh, look, what's this? Ugh. Some of the shit that they used on me. Alright. Good. Lovely. Let's head on out. Back to the reading room. Right. Oh shit, should I have left them on? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, good. All four boilers need to be working to open the casing. Are you sure you didn't remove a cube from one of the boilers? What? No! Why would I do that, Neloth? Why? <laughs> Why would I have done that? I not. Because <laughs> who would need them anywhere else? Who would need them? Why would? What use would they have beyond here? <laughs> Fuck! 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go back this way. Good. Let's see, can I pop him in while while the water level is up? Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, hey, let's see if we can pop this in as well. I'm very curious about this. Because I don't think you can, right? I think you're kind of screwed. Oh, no way, you can. Huh. For some reason, that one works while it's submerged. That's wild. Okay. Actually, you know, my, I may want this, right? What if I want to keep one with me? Because we can progress by still having one. You know? If we pull them up here and then we take it after the boilers are done. Okay. Good. Sorry, I really like futzing around with all this shit. <laughs> I love it, right? Hope to see more of it in future dungeons and all that. Okay. Did I get them all? Oh shit. <laughs> I, like, missed all these. What the heck happened? Okay. There we are. Lovely. And then see, if I take this, we should be good, right? I can just have this one while the... Uh... Oh, I see. Okay. Hey, do you think he'll have error dialogue for this as well? Do you think... Do you think you'll have something to say? <laughs> Sorry. I have to know if there's like a bonus little bit of dialogue. It's like, my god, did you go and put back all four boiler things and then take- Oh, he's down all here! All four boilers need to be working to open the casing. <gasps> Are you sure you didn't remove a cube from one of the boilers? I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> he actually came back down. Okay. It's fine. There we go. Look, it's working. Hooray, it functions again, right? Yeah, there they go, they're spinning, okay. Lovely. Let's head on back up to them. Good, good, good. Up and over here. Wow, <laughs> did he really for real come down because of me? I thought it was because I like zoned out of the area or something. What the yes, fuck? It worked. The steam is flowing. Now, it should be as simple as... That Push the button. Oh, wow. At last. I hope yeah. it was worth it. Please, be my guest. You deserve the first look. Besides, it could be very dangerous. These books are known to drive many people insane. Okay. Sure. Here goes nothing, dude. Oh no, it's it's driving oh, me insane. Be sure to say hello to Hermes Mora for me if you see <laughs> He's so sassy. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Learn the hidden knowledge of Epistolary acumen. I don't even know what epistolary means. Oh, look at that thing swinging around. Alright, well, holy shit, I suppose when next we come back, we will adventure through here. Look, we got in here just in the nick of time to where our, uh, <laughs> our detriments are not so bad that we can't see straight. We're, like, right at the precipice, I think. Alright. Yeah, like I said, when next we come back, we will go through all this fun stuff, look around at all the fun shit to look around at and unlock some amazing boons, and we'll probably have to drop a whole bunch of Dwemer shit just as well. <laughs> right? We'll leave a little gift for Hermamora. But, however, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. And what shall we read this time? Well, I don't know. Let me check my list. I, I truly do not know. That was not me... Speaking in turn or something, whatever you say. Okay. How about... How about... Ooh, we could read... The Red Year 1 and 2, or... We could read Wind and Sand. Let's read Wind and Sand, why not? 
We'll get that one out of the way before we begin the next big anthology. Oh jeez, do I even have it anymore? Oh no! Oh god, did I get rid of it? Oh shit. Oh, maybe we don't have it. Oh fuck, maybe that's just one that I wrote down for future reference. Alright, we're reading uh, <laughs> the, the, the Red Mountain one. <laughs> okay. Let's see, or the Red Year. The Red Year. There we go. Look, we've even got duplicates. The Red Year, Volume 1. A whole bunch of juicy information here. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take a quick drink as well. The Red Year, Volume 1, by Melis Ravel. Isn't that the surname of the ultra powerful super lich? Except that lich was called Gedna. Gedna Ravel. Though it may have been spelled with two E's? I'm not sure. Forward. When I originally decided to write this accounting of the Red Year, I elected to travel across Morrowind and speak to the Dunmer people themselves. I sought first-hand accounts and personal views about the cataclysmic event. I felt that if I simply did the research in the library stacks of the College of Winterhold, I wasn't really telling the tale that needed to be told. What struck me as I moved from city to city, town to town, camp to camp, is that all of the Dunmer I met shared an incredible bond of sheer courage and unshakable faith. So what began as a chronicle of one of the worst events in the history of Morrowind became something altogether different, the celebration of a people who can never be defeated. Aww, how flattering. Let me apply a check mark here just to show that I've read the first volume. There we are. Dralin Vess. Tear or tear. Or maybe it's meant to be both, you know. Some kind of deeper meaning. The ground. It just turned to mush. There was almost no warning. I mean, we were what? Perhaps a mile from the nearest swamps? It was like the swamp suddenly swallowed up half of the city. I asked him to describe what what happened from the beginning. Oh no wait, this person would sound like... I owned a farm just outside of Terre at the time. We were planting the next season's crops and getting ready to store what we had harvested. Everything was going well until the Red Mountain exploded. Almost immediately, the ground rumbled and shook. Cracks started forming everywhere, and then the water just started seeping through. It was awful. In a matter of hours, I was knee-deep in swamp water running for my life. Where I was running, I had no idea. At first, I ran towards the city itself, but it looked like the walls were cracking all around me. People were desperately trying to save their livestock and their families from the rising water. Just when the ground shaking finally died down and I had a moment to think, there was a horrible cracking noise. I'll never forget it because I knew what it was before I looked. The entire southern wall of Tyr collapsed, sending guards tumbling into the swamp. I heard people screaming as they were covered by the rubble and forced down into the water. Forgetting my own problems, I looked over at my fellow farmers who were all staring at the carnage unfolding before us. Suddenly, we all just forgot our own problems and ran to help. There must have been hundreds of the poorer folks who lived outside the walls, helping the richer ones who lived in the city. Never saw anything like that. I think we must have saved hundreds more that day. Wow, beautiful. Oh shit. This one from Nisus or Nisus, whichever you prefer. From Neria Relithil. Do we know this person? I don't think we do. Nerea was badly burned by the eruption and had trouble speaking to me. What if she was the... I'm not for certain, but what if Nerea Relithil was the, the like, older lady who lived just sort of outside of Nissus, right? She's involved in, I think, um, 
either the Legion or Fighters Guild quest line. Huh. And like she's very distrustworthy of the Imperial Legion, but then she, I guess she, she locks out that old Perseus Mercius happens to be on the case rather than some horrible asshole. Anyway. She's currently convalescing at the Temple of Azura in Blacklight, even after all these years. I've tried to record her story to the best of my ability. It was such a terrible thing. The fire. It burned everything in its path. It flattened trees, turned our huts into splinters, and knocked over towers like they were made from parchment. It all happened in an instant. A rumbling sound and a massive wall of flame. It was so high it blocked out the sun. I thought that the world itself had split apart. It passed over the water and turned it to steam, vaporized everything it touched. When it finally hit us, I was blown off of my feet. Didn't even have time to run away or seek shelter. I ended up in the riverbed next to town, which kept some of the flames off of me. All around could smell the charred stench of death. There were Dunmer that were burned alive, and some never even saw it coming. I lay in that riverbed for two days before the healers found me. When I could finally stand, Mrs. was gone. There wasn't a thing left. It's as though it was wiped from the face of Tamriel. Holy shit. That's fucking harrowing. But that's the exact same uh, riverbed, right? And it's a fairly shallow riverbed, at least when we saw it 200 years prior to uh, Skyrim, right? Because that's the same riverbed where... I forgot the name of the dude, but Hainab Lasami stole his pants. He was standing pantsless in there for quite some time. <laughs> I wonder if canonically the Nervarine ever helped that man get his pants back. Maybe he survived, right? Maybe he survived by nature of just standing in there still to that day. <laughs> Embarrassed. <laughs> I jumped into the riverbed and saw a strange man not wearing pants. He was very distraught, but he survived. <laughs> All right. Amazing. I love that. Yeah. Here, we should at least drop one of them. <laughs> Although I'd like to keep, uh, uh, yeah, I'd like to keep some copies for the old, uh, manor and all that. All right. Like I said, when next we come back, Apocrypha. Until next time, please take care of each other.